internet, Mike Berlin here. I um, haven't done any kind of a writing based video in a while, so I um, thought I'd just put this short video out there. Um, this is sort of an introductory class about writing the fan in the fantasy genre. So I mean, the basics can be applied to any uh, specific writing genre that you might like. Um, I like to use just the Google Docs for everything because it just makes it easier. It puts everything in one place so that I can access it, whether I'm using my primary computer, my uh, secondary computer, or somebody else's computer. I can still access my writing. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into this lesson. Um, if you like this video and want to not learn more subscribe to see when i make my an update um, ring that bell icon to be notified and leave a comment if you would like to see more videos like this so in this first lesson is about world building but specifically it's about readers having preconceived notions about what to expect. So when a reader starts a story, they are always going to have an idea of what to expect. The sky is going to be blue, the leaves are going to be green, water is going to be wet. So unless you as the writer tells the reader that this is different, they're going to forever explain it. And then if you introduce it far into the story, it's going to really break that immersion that you want readers to experience. Now, what I mean by, like, long into the story is if you put it... If you were to suddenly say that the sky is red all the time, well, when you say, you know say that until the third chapter of your book suddenly they've gone already gone more than they've got two chapters thinking oh it's a blue sky tell the reader right away or better yet show rather than tell <coughs> what i mean by that is <coughs> excuse me Let's just say that you let's keep along with the red sky analogy. All right, so skies are red. You can say red, the skies are red, which will convey the point, but it's sort of a lot of information to take in right away. Or you can demonstrate that the sky is red have an aerial vehicle moving through the red skies. If you want a little bit of action, have a character falling through the red skies. Something like that where there's something going on and you tangentially explain that the skies are red. And from that point on, you can just say that the skies are red all the time, no matter what, et cetera, et cetera, however you want to, but introduce the concept by showing the reader something going on. Make it part of the story. Don't just cram all this information at, down the reader's throat. I mean, in the typical storytelling terms, it's a, called a lore dump when you just cram all information down and the reader may or may not retain that information so it's better to just keep or explain that information piecemeal and you know the more relevant the information is the faster you should incorporate it um, 
you what you do don't want readers to have a reason not to enjoy your work. All right, it's the reader should never feel that they should never feel that they're reading a story. Don't make something alien to them. Make it seem reasonable. If you want red skies, there should be a reason why there are red skies. If you want blue leaves, make them be a reason there are blue leaves. Make the reader know and, and expect the leaves to be blue or the sky to be red. You know. You know, you just, you want the reader to enjoy the story, and you want them to be able to come back. I mean, if this is the first part in a series, you want them to read the whole series. Even if this is a book, a, a standalone story that's all by itself, you want them to either read other books that you've written or want to read other books that you will write. So, like I said, this is just a quick little lesson, not even a 10 minute little video to watch. But I was wanted you to experience something, get a little idea of world building and fantasy. Now, if you want to say you don't want a red sky, it's, it's a normal sky, don't even bring it up. But know that readers will have the preconceived notion of what to expect in any story. And if you said it on Earth, they are going to expect Earth without question. If you want something different to appear on Earth, you're going to need a valid reason. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Remember to uh, hit the subscribe button. Share this video, like it, ring the bell icon. Um, I have some information about this topic that I'm going to link down to in the description. Uh, just to sort of get your mind turning. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.